One of my favorite side dishes is green bean casserole. Man, what a treat. And I figured out a way that if you're keto or low carb, you can have your casserole and eat it too. Stick around. So a traditional green bean casserole has all kinds of ingredients. One being the crispy onions on top, the Campbell's condensed cream of mushroom soup. I'm gonna show you how to make all those and we'll make it real simple and easy so that you can make a green bean casserole and enjoy one of the best side dishes out there. The green bean casserole is creamy, cheesy, and absolutely delicious. You're gonna to wanna to make this again and again and you can without any guilt because it's low carb and keto friendly. And you're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Here are the ingredients you're gonna to need to put together this keto green bean casserole. You're gonna need some green beans. This is a 12 ounce package. You're gonna need some sharp cheddar cheese. I love this extra sharp cheddar for this recipe, but at least a sharp. You're gonna need some of my keto condensed cream of mushroom soup. And I'll put a card up in the right corner and I'll leave a link for the video in the description so you know how to make it. You're gonna need some heavy cream, some liquid aminos, and I don't do soy as a general rule, but for this, we're only putting a teaspoon in. If you don't like to use soy at all, use some coconut aminos. You're gonna need some seasoning salt, and you're gonna need some pepper. And you're gonna need some of these Keto Funyuns. And I'll put a card up in the corner that you can click on, or I'll put a link down in the description so you find out how to make these. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything together, measure out all the ingredients, and I'll be right back and show you how to put this together. And to my favorite mixing bowl, I've added the condensed cream of mushroom soup. I added in the liquid aminos and I added in the heavy cream. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the green beans. Now the way I cook these, it's in the microwave bag. So I cook it to about three fourths of the amount of time that it says to cook it on the bag because you don't want them mushy. You want them still a little bit crispy because they're gonna bake in the oven. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dump in my seasonings. Now it doesn't seem like a lot of seasonings, but remember there's a ton of flavor in that condensed cream of mushroom soup. So I'm just gonna give this a stir, combine it well, and I'm gonna put it in either two of these eight by eight cake pans, or a nine by 13 casserole dish, and then we're gonna put it in the oven. Before I put this second bag of green beans in, I just wanna point out that you wanna make sure they're drained really well. You don't want a whole lot of excess liquid in there. Go ahead and put those in and give it a good stir. Hey, if you're liking this video and you wanna see more like it, look right down here, click this subscribe button, and hit the bell icon, and it'll let you know as soon as I put out another video. I've evenly divided these between these two eight by eight cake pans. You can use a nine by 13 casserole dish also, but I'm gonna freeze one. But all I'm gonna do now is top this with cheese, and it's ready to go in the oven. I'll show you what they look like when they're done. So this is ready to go in the oven. Because it's in a smaller pan, I'm gonna put it in there for about 25 minutes, just until that cheese gets nice and bubbly and brown. I'll probably add a little more cheese, and if you wanna add more cheese in this, you can too. So when there's five minutes left to cook, I'm gonna take these crispy onion breadcrumbs, crumble them up right on top. I'm gonna cover this whole thing to give it a nice crispy topping. We'll put it back in for five more minutes. I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. So this is what it looks like when it's finished. So I'm gonna put this on the plate, put some sides with it, we're gonna have a good meal with this. I hope you make this recipe and enjoy it. And if you're looking for something else to go with it, check these videos out over here and it'll give you some great ideas. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment when you make this. Y'all take care and I'll see y'all in the next video.